Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you who are joining us from home, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Lucida Concepcion and Juana and Pablo Vargas. And we continue to pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick in the hospitals, at homes, and in everywhere, so that God may continue to give them strength and healing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and to, and you, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever-Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the path of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to save you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord your God, who grasp your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O worm Jacob, O maggot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing sledge, sharp, new, and double-edged, to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like chaff. When you winnow them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord and the glory of the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy Seek water in vain. Their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress, together with the plane tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe and understand, that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response will be, the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let the discourse of glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great, great kindness. Let them make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Blessing, May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. 
Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, Jesus, today's gospel reminds us that uh, he has come as a non-violent person to continue to respond to his father, who is so merciful, kind, and gracious in our lives. And he tells us that uh, those people who have killed John the Baptist he still extend his loving mercy for those people who are enemies to us. I was asking myself what kind of message Jesus is telling us today. The gospel invites us to continue to extend our love and our kindness to our brothers and sisters as we continue to prepare ourselves for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, this time of Advent gives us an opportunity for us to ponder how do we reconcile one another? How do we welcome our brothers and sisters to experience that love and mercy of God who is always waiting us with an open arms to embrace us, to forgive us. Are we really ready to do the same thing what God has entrusted us to do? Yesterday we celebrated the solemnity of our mother Mary. She was always pondering on her journey of life to accept God's will, God's word. Are we ready to open up ourselves this time of Advent, to extend our love and mercy even for those people whom we call our enemies. God is so merciful and kindness and slow to anger. Let us continue to ask his love and mercy as we prepare ourselves to celebrate Christmas. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful day. As we continue to prepare to celebrate Christmas, give us this opportunity to open up ourselves to be ready to reconcile one another. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. As we are preparing ourselves for the Sacrament of Reconciliation on Monday 20th this month, Give us courage so that we can open up our hearts and come closer to you. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those people who have come to us, ask for forgiveness. Give us courage always to walk together as a family. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the leadership of this country so that they may continue always to cherish and to extend the love and peace. And for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church, and especially for us here, the Church of Ascension, as we are preparing to celebrate 50th anniversary. And for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray together this prayer. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father we, we praise, praise and thank you for the, for the past 50 years. years. Your, Your grace and spirit have enabled our parish to proclaim the word, celebrate the Eucharist, and serve our local community. In thanksgiving, we pray for all those parishioners 
who set the parish foundation, and for all those who, throughout the years, have joined us in our mission, in our celebrations, or have sought our help. Please continue to pour out the Holy Spirit upon us, so that we will always be missionary disciples who are joyful expression of your Son within our parish and into our community. We boldly proclaim that Jesus is alive in our parish, welcoming the lost and leading us all to new life in him. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, as one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below Gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true and right and just due to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are claimed. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them that they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered will willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Lucita, Concepcion, Joanna, and Papulo Vargas, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in their hope of the resurrection and all have died in all mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Live justly and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the glory of our great God. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit as we pray, for even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching live stream mass also, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Let us continue to prepare ourselves for the coming of our Lord. And where there is two or three are gathered together with my name, I am also with you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.